Hi there, Dan Priest, PwC Cloud and Digital Leader here. Welcome to Take 5 with AWS and PwC. I'm excited to be joined by our special guest, Kamal Arora, Director of Solution Architecture at AWS, to break down some of the most important and pressing topics for enterprises today in five minutes or less. Kamal, thanks so much for joining today. Thank you, Dan. Glad to be here. So before we get to today's topic, let's learn a little bit about you. Can you recall a memory or a time in your life when you were first amazed or inspired by the power of technology? That's a very interesting question, Dan. I mean, there have been many such moments, but I can definitely recall like a time from 2008, 2009. I was leading a development team, like uh, we were building products and services. And uh, of course, there's always uh, uh, that contention about like the infrastructure usage, right? So from the dev team to QA team, we had limited resources and we were always like hungry for more resources. That is where I came across like one product at that time called EC2. And I was amazed by like how the entire thing could be like spun up or stopped or restarted very quickly, right? In fact, at that time, the cloud it term itself was not common. So I was really amazed. And uh, since then, AWS, EC2, I'm still living in that world and I continue to be amazed. That's a great one, Kamal. Witnessing the art of the possible the cloud brings to our clients, it's one of mine. With that, let's jump into today's topic. It's no surprise that organizations realize the ROI of moving to the cloud. But once they're there, how do they take full advantage and move beyond migration to achieve full business reinvention? So Kamal, what do you think is holding organizations back from fully realizing the value from their cloud investments post-migration. The real power of cloud comes in when you start to use the cloud native services, the higher level services, the managed services. That is where the real ROI, the real like agility, the real like elasticity aspects that comes in. Now, a lot of the customers who are on that path, right? Uh, there are a few things which I see as challenges or opportunities. One of them is like uh, the top down again, like vision around being more cloud native. So I've seen like customers and uh, organizations who set that as a vision that they want to have like a container first strategy or a serverless first strategy. The second thing is more about the consistent builder experience itself as well. So when you enable your builder community, your application owners, application architects, give them like the platform where they can build and operate seamlessly in the cloud using uh, the higher level services and having like a consistent fabric around it, that really kind of moves the organizations uh, into that faster pace uh, on using or adopting these higher level services. Then the whole operating model around it, how do you think about like the operating model in terms of like monitoring, debugging, observability, when you're using these cloud native services, having like more clarity around it, again, is an important thing. So those are the few things, Dan, which I think are really the differentiator for a lot of those customers who are being successful in this journey. So in your opinion, what areas are they overlooking? Impacts on their op model, embracing anything as a service, what do you think? So it's a combination of things, but I think one of the main things which I see like uh, a lot of times customers get like bogged down on is getting everything to modernize like upfront, right? Sometimes it's more about that journey part of it, right? Where you pick maybe like few applications, maybe like 10 to 15 applications. Uh, you go through the modernization process for those applications, learn from that exercise and build on that experience and again kind of go through next tranche. So it's all about learning. It's all about journey. That makes sense. So any recommendations on how they should prioritize their efforts? What should they address first? Yeah, so I think there are a few things which I'll say. One, of course, scaling. So once the application architects, owners, they are comfortable about the higher level services, right? They can easily architect and like manage and operate those like applications with new way of building and operating. So that enablement is key. The other thing I would say is that uh, consistent builder fabric where you enable like the entire organization to build on that fabric, the foundation, that again is super important so that everyone is using that rather than creating their own fabric or same processes over and over again. So I think those are the things. And in that same respect, there are a lot of AWS services which can help. I mean, there are services including like AWS migration hub strategy, which helps you make decision in terms of uh, how to kind of take on that migration path. There are like services like app to container, which helps you modernize applications from say .NET or Java and move them to container-based platforms. So those kind of services and using them like more often really makes the customer successful. 
Kamal, great recommendations, great insights. I wish we had more time with you, but thank you again for taking five with us.